In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. A very good evening to all of you. Welcome today to the celebration of the Eucharist on this 18th Ordinary Sunday. And today we have words again from the Lord himself. The word of God is so powerful that it pierces our hearts and our souls because we live for it we experience it with our lives and we use it for the glory of God so that we too can be strengthened and journey along and to bring that faith to others through our own experience and examples that's why during the course of a single week there are many words that are spoken to all of us but the word of God that is so much spoken throughout the day and throughout our lives and every day for those who come to celebrate mass and for those who come for the weekends the word of God is so alive but the words must return with an experience of an example of faith that is shown in us with our brothers and sisters so how do we listen to his words and how hard do we try to practice them in our lives so let us proceed today and ask the Lord for pardon for the times that we have failed to let his words transform our lives. Together we pray. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, you my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what, what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and on, and on earth, earth peace, peace to people of, of goodwill. We, we praise you. We bless you. We adore you. you we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly, heavenly King, O God, God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. 
let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness, that for those who glory in you as their creator and guide, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Exodus. The whole community of the sons of Israel began to complain against Moses and Aaron in the wilderness and said to them, Why did we not die at the Lord's hand in the land of Egypt? When we were able to sit down to pans of meat and could eat bread to our heart's content. As it is, you have brought us to this wilderness to starve this whole company to death. Then the Lord said to Moses, Now I will rain down bread for you from the heavens. Each day the people are to go out and gather the day's portion. I propose to test them in this way to see whether they will follow my law or not. I have heard the complaints of the sons of Israel. Say this to them. Between the two evenings you shall eat meat, and in the morning you shall have bread to your heart's content. Then you will learn that I, the Lord, am your God. And so it came about. Quails flew up in the evening, and they covered the camp. In the morning, there was a coating of dew all round the camp. When the coating of dew lifted, there on the surface of the desert was a thing delicate, powdery, as fine as hoarfrost on the ground. When they saw this, the sons of Israel said to one another, What is that? Not knowing what it was. That, said Moses to them, is the bread the Lord gives you to eat. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. The Lord gave them bread from from heaven. The things we have heard and understood, the things our fathers have told us, we will tell to the next generation the glories of the Lord and his might. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. He commanded the clouds above and opened the gates of heaven. He rained down manna for their food and gave them bread from heaven. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. Mere men ate the bread of angels. He sent them abundance of food. He brought them to his holy land, to the mountain which his right hand had worn. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. A reading from the letter of Saint Paul to the Ephesians. I want to urge you in the name of the Lord not to go on living the aimless kind of life the pagans live. Now, that is hardly the way you have learned from Christ. Unless you fail to hear him properly when we were taught that the truth is in Jesus, you must give up your old way of life. You must put aside your old self, which gets corrupted 
by following illusory desires. Your mind must be renewed by a spiritual revolution so that you can put on the new self that has been created in God's way, in the goodness and holiness of the truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand for the gospel acclamation. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I am the way, the truth, and the life, says the Lord. No one can come to the Father except through me. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. When the people saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they got into boats and crossed to Capernaum to look for Jesus. When they found him on the other side, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you come here? Jesus answered, I tell you most solemnly, you are not looking for me because you have seen the signs, but because you had all the bread you wanted to eat. Do not work for food that cannot last, but work for food that endures to eternal life, the kind of food the Son of Man is offering you. For in him the Father, God himself, has set his seal. Then they said to him, What must we do if we are to do the works that God wants? Jesus gave them this answer. This is working for God. You must believe in the one he has sent. So they said, What sign will you give to show us that we should believe in you? What work will you do? Our fathers had manna to eat in the desert, as scripture says, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. Jesus answered, I tell you most solemnly, it was not Moses who gave you bread from heaven. It is my father who gives you the bread from heaven. The true bread, for the bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Sir, they said, give us that bread always. Jesus answered, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will never be hungry. He who believes in me will never thirst. And this, my dear friends, is the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There's a great story for us to understand deep enough in today's uh, wonderful text of the gospel where a man had grown weary of his ordinary life. Sometimes people just get fed up of life. Like now in this uh, great pandemic, as they say, there are many people who are really fed up of life. Just staying at home, doing nothing, cannot go here, cannot go there. So this is the story of a man who is fed up of ordinary life. Things were all happening at that time. There was no pandemic. So one day he decided to leave his hometown. To leave his wife, his children, even his community. In search of the magical city. Where everything is different. Everything is so rewarding. So he traveled, he traveled along towards that magical city. But then it was dark and he was in the midst of the forest. So he settled down in that forest. He prepared himself to sleep. At that time, that old fashioned way of putting everything together nicely, especially the shoes also. And the shoes must be pointed 
to where you are going next. It is like a tradition in many, many uh, communities also. So he took off his shoes, carefully pointed to the new direction of the magical city. So he slept. During the night, there were some people who were passing by and all that. They saw him sleeping. They saw the shoes pointed and they knew this kind of uh, activity that was going on. So they turned his shoes around. They turned his shoes around and in the morning when he woke up, he dressed up and everything put on. He put on the shoes and he walked according to where the shoes pointed. So a few days later, he came to the magical city. But wait a minute, huh? he found out, hey, this place is very familiar. No, he, he didn't imagine what it would be. He didn't imagine. In fact, it looked very familiar, awfully familiar. He wandered about for a while, then he saw the name of the street, very familiar name. He knocked on the door. Those doors were all very familiar kind of uh, made stuff. So he went into a very familiar family also, and he stayed there happily ever after. Wonderful story for us to look deep inside. You see, there's a sense in which Jesus is always trying to turn our shoes around. That's what he's doing with the crowd at the other side of the lake in today's gospel. Remember last week, they were fed and they, and they were filled, but they were still unsatisfied, you know. So they were looking for something more, like the man in search of the magical city. They were looking for the magical master. So this even reminded Jesus of how and they also reminded Jesus of how the ancestors, their ancestors ate the food that fell down from heaven. See, actually there is an explanation of this extraordinary bread that is mentioned, that is taken from the book of Exodus. Because of the, of the damage, the insect damage on the tamarisk trees, a sap, or rather a sweet sap, falls from the leaves and, the, and this sap solidifies during the night and forms the manna. So this is how they ate. So manna was one of what we call in those days the fast foods. The fast foods. Uh, because when day came, it warmed up and it melted away into the ground. So they were quickly gathering it during the, the evenings and in the night. And that was the reason. That is why Jesus was teaching them. So Jesus turns around the crowd's shoes. He tells them to stop searching for the magical city or the magical master. The real heavenly bread is right in front of them. The one they call Rabbi. So there's always a temptation you know, for all of us, many people out there, to make religion something magical, more than ordinary. In our times, you know, the temptation to search for the magical city. Oh, some people have gone to the Holy Land more than 15 times, searching, searching where God is there, present. Some people like to be turned with, to be turned with the shout of the, uh, the shout of Turin. Everybody wants to go there and see, but where God there lives in person next to them. So uh, some are more preoccupied with the secret letter of Fatima than about the letters of Saint Paul in the Bible. That's why, as I told you some time ago, I think maybe last year and all that, there was this lady who came up and said, No, Father, I've gone for all the courses that the church can give, you know. Wow, I said, very good, lah. Now you tell me, what is the first book of the Bible? Oh, I haven't gone for that course yet. So some take religion as an escape from the daily duties at home. So people are in search of a quick fix for that magical city. So Jesus is trying to turn our shoes around. He's trying to tell us to pay attention to what is under our noses, 
to embrace the ordinary and imperfect life that God has given us. So Jesus is the one who brings us, is not the one, sorry, is not the one who brings us that magical grace from heaven. He is the one who unveils the grace that exists in our lives. That's why St. Paul says, huh? it is not I who live, but Christ lives in me, coming from last week's gospel also. So he stopped, he's telling us that today, the real religion is not about revealing secrets from heaven, but noticing in faith the mystery in our lives. So Jesus tells us, I myself, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall never be hungry. He who believes in me shall never thirst. The words of this gospel today must ring throughout the week in our lives as we journey in faith. So he always turns our shoes around. He always brings us back home. And we are the people filled with that grace to turn the shoes around of others who are dreaming of the magical city, of the magical master. See, that's where God is. No need to search for the magical city. So to all those who followed him, all of us, to the ordinary people, he offered and satisfied their physical hunger. To the leper, he gave physical healing. To the woman at the well, he gave the bread of kindness. To the sinners, the bread of forgiveness. To the outcast, he gave the bread of companionship. To Martha and Mary, he gave the bread of compassion. To the thief on the cross, he gave the bread of reconciliation. But some of them refused. The Pharisees and the scribes, they were offered the bread of conversion. They refused. Pilate was offered the bread of truth, but refused. But we, we have God. We have the bread of life. We are the body of Christ. We stand, my dear friends, filled with that bread that is given to us. Let us profess that faith then as one family. I believe in one, in one God, God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all, all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He, he suffered, suffered death and, and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. 
we turn to God of righteousness and truth with our heartfelt prayers. For the Holy Father, Pope Francis, and all who serve the Church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us pray. For nations striving to find the lost and feed the hungry, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear us, we pray. pray. For all who seek wisdom of Lord's word, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear us, us, we pray. pray. For love, tolerance, and understanding in our community, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear us, we, we pray. pray. For those who have offered mass intentions, for the faithful departed, Monica Yeo, Winnie Tan Chu Lian, Bertram Xia, Gladys Xia, Jacob Chong Quet Finn, Maria Wong Yuet Yuan, Philip Chong, Father Raymond Chong Miao Yun, Gerard Lin Shin Choi, Sylvia Leong Li Lan, Manuel Wellen, Mr. and Mrs. F. J. Manuel, C. D. Athanasius, son of Xavier Cruz de Cruz, Bernard Vincent, all those who died from COVID-19, all souls in purgatory, Madam Yo Gek Kyo, Lawrence Liao, special intentions, Stephen N. J. Pereira, Anne Stephen Pereira, Gabriel Moses Pereira, Rafael Martin Pereira, Felicia Ang, Elvin Martin Tan Keng Lun, Matthew Tan Shan Yu, Alan Tan Keng An, Claudia Tan Sin Yi, Boi Chi Kyong, Nicholas Doget, Anita and Dennis Menezes, Joshua Fu, people suffering from COVID-19, priest of Our Lady of Lutz, M. H. Yong, Daniel and Cheryl, Baby Luke Lim, Baby Ezekiel, Harvan Skor, Christina Tong for speedy recovery, Thanksgiving, Philomena, Philomena, Leela, Rajan Ramasamy, Rajiv Ramasamy, Ivan Weller for safe return. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us, we pray. God of holiness, you lovingly renew our minds and spirit. We seek your mercy as we offer these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
let us pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of his, all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer, to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you love in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to your gifts, to those gifts of yours, that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of God hosts, hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And so gathered, my dear friends, as one family, as we form the body of Christ, 
we now turn to God our Father in prayer. Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, power and the, the glory, glory are, are yours, yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. gentle reminder, only baptized Catholics may come forward to receive Holy Communion. Please continue to maintain safe distancing and sanitize your hands.
Let us pray. Accompany with constant protection, O Lord, those you renew with heavenly gifts. And in your never failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us all go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. When I am down and oh my soul so weary when troubles come and my heart burden be then I am still Wait here in the silence until you come and sit a while with me. You raise me up so I. 